Hi Scorpios, I'm here to do your reading, okay Scorpio? Um, Scorpio, these are not personal readings, these are energy readings, okay Scorpio? Every Scorpio is not on the same vibration, you guys. Again, every Scorpio is not on the same vibration, okay? Scorpio, let's hop into your reading, let's see what's going on with your energy. Alright Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you, alright? Scorpio, it says no pain, no gain, all right? No pain, no gain, all right? So, yeah, you might be going through something, Scorpio, and it might seem painful, but no pain, no gain, every lesson learned, all right, in the situation, all right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with your energy. Let's hop into your energy, Scorpio. Okay, Archangel Michael, ancestors, please come through for Scorpio. Okay, I have one leg up on a situation. So the number 34 is here. You could be seeing 333 or 444. So one leg up on a situation. So receiving help, all right, in a situation, you don't have to go in alone. And so you can receive what you need, all right? So you're not alone. And just remember, Scorpio, you need others just as much as they need you, all right? So don't be afraid to ask for help, especially in a situation where um, you feel like... Um, you have to do something alone by yourself, okay? You want to probably be independent in a situation. But remember, it's okay to ask for help. Um, you're probably not used to asking for other people's help or their advice on a situation, Scorpio. But remember, you don't have to do it alone, all right? Okay, Scorpio, let's see what's going on. The person or situation. No place like home, all right? So, yeah, you might be dealing with someone, family, uh, a love situation. There's no place like home. The number 50 is here. You could be seeing 555 here. No place like home. Okay, Scorpio, so no place like home, no place like um, your family, um, the people you grew up with, okay? So no place like home, you know, you can ask for help, okay, in a situation. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with your energy here. Scorpio, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So you could have a lot of regret. So saying or doing something wrong in a situation. All right. The Queen of Swords in the reverse is coming off as a bia. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see. And the Four of Pentacles, you could be keeping something to yourself here. The Six of Wands, okay. Uh, a lot of praise, a triumph and success. And the Eight of Cups, all right. So you could be moving on from a situation. You could be moving on from a situation here where you probably had to cut somebody out. The Four of Pentacles. This could have been a marriage or a work situation. I mean, the Four of Wands, all right? 
the Knight of Pentacles. Someone is coming in very slow here to offer you something. But they don't want to be rejected. All right, Scorpio. Someone wants to offer you something here, but they don't want to be rejected in a situation. And they're thinking about it with the Seven of Cups. You could be dealing with the Libra or... um. Who is this? Uh, Aries. Gemini. I mean, Aries, Gemini. Uh, Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right? So, you have the lover's card here. You could be making a choice here when it comes to love. Or a choice when it comes to moving on here. Let's clarify this real quick. What is the Queen of Swords in the reverse? Ooh, a separation. Okay, so... Okay, in a love situation, um, whoever you broke up with or there was a separation in... Um, this could be your ex-lover, okay? They, they could be seeing you as a the B word, all right, Scorpio, the four of, the three of wands, the three of cups, the nine of swords, the emperor, strong Aries, okay, strong Aries, um, a marriage, all right? Okay, and the Ten of Swords. So someone feels like you caused them pain in every way. All right, Scorpio? Um, very painful. Whatever you said, um inside of a breakup a relationship here it really hurts someone's feelings all right it caused a separation okay but you're keeping it to yourself you have been enlightened about the situation here um your ex-lover or if you were married in a situation scorpio um to a aries a Leo or a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this person, your ex lover or whoever you separated from, could be talking bad about you. Um, their part, their um, family could have been like the third party situation, or this could be like a work situation here. So Whoever they were close to could have caused this breakup or had them second guessing um, the relationship here. But yeah, their family could be a part of this breakup uh, or relationship here. So yeah. Whatever you said, you could have called this person out their name, uh, treated them like crap or something, um, just to break up with them or try to get over the relationship here. But this person here has the Four of Wands with the Emperor, okay? So this person is feeling like there's no place like home, it's no place like them, um... They're almost at their peace and happiness here. Strong Aries energy. And you have been enlightened about a situation, but you're keeping it to yourself. So a lot of things could have went on here. So, if it has something to do with, like, money or inheritance, or 
or some type of legacy you wanted to keep it to yourself or you've been enlightened about a situation the knight of pentacles with the seven of seven of wands so they're moving in slow okay for victory okay they're leaving all of the secrets and illusions behind you could be dealing with a virgo or a leo here so a collaboration um something could have been going on here in a third party situation um you could have moved on from someone okay and collaborated with someone else or found someone else here or you felt like you could have victory and success with somebody else um maybe this could have been a third party situation or the same sex relationship whatever was going on scorpio did I call you Virgo? Whatever was going on in the situation, Scorpio, um, there was a lot of secrets and illusions, okay? I don't know on who part, but this is in your energy. Just make sure you take the energies how it go. Someone could be placing the blame on you in a situation, okay a lot of secrets a lot of illusions okay for victory um great news and hope in the situation this person is really upset about maybe a third party situation or how you just moved on out of a situation or how you dismiss someone here they they probably feel really wounded okay this person feels like they're not easy okay they feel like they're trying to heal themselves after this situation okay um take the energies how you want or vice versa but if you know you didn't put a person in a third party situation because it's no pain no gain so this could have caused you a lot of pain and the person you were dealing with a lot of pain here but I see that you're moving on, okay? And you're turning your back on this situation, okay? There could have been some type of a body shaming or moving on here in a situation. When I see the Eight of Cups, I think about like um, a repo or... You know, just make sure that your transportation, when you get ready to turn your back on the world, make sure that your um, transportation is taken care of here, okay? No pain, no gain. Um, parking on the right side of the street, your car could get towed or um, there could be a repo if you not paying your bill on time here. This person is thinking about the situation with the Five of Cups. So they're thinking about this person feels like everything that they touch, they destroy. Someone probably really wanted this relationship to work in a home situation. They feel like they could have had it all with you or you missed out on a good thing here. So they're all in their head. So this person could feel like everything they touch, they destroy. Because I see you here. You don't care about no secrets. You don't care about no illusions. You don't care who's talking about you. You're going towards the sun, okay? You're turning your back on a situation. That's what I'm seeing, Scorpio. Okay, I see that you're turning your back on a situation here. And this person has the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Strong fire energy. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius. Okay. Let's see what this person wants to say to you.
Okay, the runner. All right, you could be dealing with the, um, a Sagittarius here. Or someone feels like you're running away from your problem, Scorpio. Someone feels like running in a codependent relationship. Um, fear of intimacy, listening to your ego in a situation. All right, or somebody probably feel like you're running away from responsibilities. If this is a um, baby mother, baby father situation, someone probably feel like you're running away from your responsibilities. So you feel like healthy choices. Um, you want to make more healthy choices with your life. In love and in life. Um, a lot of self-love is going on here. So you feel like you're being happier by moving on. Alright. You could be doing some. Um, you could be interested here. In a conversation. With this person again. So you could be awaiting someone's arrival here, a text message, a call, an email, talking and making more healthier choices. Okay, probably spending a lot of time on the internet, your laptop, whatever this is here, okay? So you're talking and you're making more healthy choices with your life. And this person feels like you're very codependent or... um afraid of being intimate in a relationship and you're listening to your ego all right all right scorpio let's get you out one card archangel michael ancestors please come through for scorpio what is the message here for scorpio Wow, moving on. The number six is here. Something, um, if this was a marriage with the four of wands and the emperor card, something could have happened back in August. Maybe a separation that is really still taking a toll on someone. Or something could be you just moving on. That's what spirit is saying, okay? And it also says here, listen to your intuition, okay? Especially when it comes to moving on. With the queen of swords in the reverse, if you feel like you have to say something really, you know, disrespectful to someone, it's best to move on and listen to your intuition about this situation. All right, Scorpio, that was your reading. Bye, Scorpios.